Yo, I know this is a red curb, but I think I could park here. I think it's fine. But anyway, it was good, you guys. You guys know I'm all about like learning new tricks and showcasing learning new tricks. Um, and there's one trick in particular that I've been wanting to try, and I want to try it today in this video. Nolly half cap flip. Now my nolly flips, I can nolly flip, but they're just not that good. And I can't do like nolly or switch backside tricks. Like switch back 180, I can't do it to save my life. Like even just doing a nolly half cap, it just feels so weird and uncomfortable. But nolly half cap flip, for some reason, I feel like that one's actually doable. So I want to try it. Nolly half cap flip. Um, that's like I said, this is a trick that I've been wanting to try for like forever And I feel like I can do it even though I suck at like nollie half cap tricks I feel like I can do it for some reason So I'm gonna try it. Hopefully I get it Hopefully I get a new trick today and hopefully a cop doesn't come and give me a ticket for parking right here And I had to get a new tripod because my sister broke my other one But this one's a lot better than my old one. So shout out to my sister for breaking my tripod. All right. Yeah, nollie half cap flip Let's get it See that I feel like I can get this trick even though just doing like a basic nollie half cab is so hard for me. What the fuck that, what the fuck? I don't understand how I just did that so fast. I was expecting this to take like so long. What? Okay, I don't know how I did that so quickly, but at least now I know I can do it. I don't understand how I'm able to do this trick. Like just doing a normal nolly half cab is like so awkward for me, but I can do nolly half cab flip. I'm gonna try to do it a little bit better, I guess. Oh my God. I wanna land a good one now that I know I can actually do this trick. Oh my god, I just want to do a clean one. Oh my god, I'm tired. I was trying these back to back so fast, but I did it like four or five times. No, maybe like three times. I don't know how many times, but I'm so hyped on this trick. My board's leaving me. But hey, I don't know. Next trick I want to learn, maybe, maybe Nolly Big Flip. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, I don't know what happened to my bolts, but they're gone. What the heck? I just looked down and two bolts were gone. What the fuck? Okay, so a while back, I posted a video called How to Ollie a Lot Higher. And that video's kind of been blowing up recently. Like, I think it's at like, I don't even know how many views. I just know that it's blowing up. But you guys love that video. And a lot of new subscribers are actually from that one video. Like, that video is one of my most viewed videos. So a bunch of new people came from that video. And in the comments, I actually got a lot of good feedback from that video. You guys really liked it. And you guys wanted me to make more videos like that, but with different tricks, like kickflip, pop shove it. Just to do tricks higher. And one of the most common tricks that I got in like the comment section of, the, of that video was kickflips. So I thought, why not just make a video about kickflips, like doing kickflips higher. So that's what this video is gonna be, how to do kickflips a lot higher. Now keep in mind, this isn't gonna be like a, a kickflip trick tip, because if you're watching this video, I'm guessing you already have kickflips, you just wanna do them a little bit higher. So yeah, it's not gonna be exactly like a kickflip tutorial, if that's what you're lo you were looking for. I mean, I will get into like doing kickflips, but it's gonna be like doing them higher. So I guess if learning them higher is a way for you to learn them in the first place, then stick around, I guess. Bro, this tripod is coming in clutch. Okay, but onto the kickflip. Kickflips actually take like a lot of effort, especially to do them like higher. Like if you're just learning them, it might not it might not be that hard. Kickflips are actually like pretty easy to learn, but like putting more effort into a trick to get it like perfect, like to get the height, get the catch, get everything perfect, that actually takes a lot of work. All right, you know what, I lied. This is probably gonna be like a kickflip tutorial slash doing it higher, I guess. Okay, the foot placement is like the exact same as like a normal kickflip. Like in my kickflip trick tip videos, I usually say like I put my front foot like right under these two bolts right here like this at like a little bit of a slant. And I always put my back foot with like my pinky toe hanging off the board just a little bit. Because if your foot is too much on the board like this, it's just gonna make the board pop a lot slower. And for a kickflip, you want it to pop pretty fast like that. So if your toe is hanging off a little bit, like your pinky toe off the tail a little bit, that's just gonna make the board pop a lot quicker. Now, when you wanna do a kickflip higher, instead of flicking like off to the side like this, like for a normal kickflip. What I do when I do when I do a kickflip like a little bit higher, I flick it off all the way off the nose like that. So the combination of flicking it off the nose and having your pinky toe hang off a little bit, you wanna have the board like pop quick, but you want the flip to be slower than normal because you're gonna be higher in the air. Because if the board flips too fast, you're gonna be doing like double flips and stuff and you don't want that. Or maybe you do want that. I mean, doing a super high double flip 
would be cooler than a regular kickflip. So maybe that's something you want to do. But yeah, so you want to pop the board really fast, but you want to flip the kickflip really slow. So like as you pop, the board's going to be snapping really fast because of your pinky toe hanging off a little bit. That just makes the board flip, I mean, snap really fast. And then the mixture of the fast pop and the slow kickflip, it's just going to make the board spin like super nice and slow while you're in the air. And it's gonna make it look really nice. And as you do the kickflip, you're gonna wanna bring your knees up as far as you can. But right before you do that, you wanna get like a good, like bend your knees a lot. Like squat down a lot, bend your knees. And honestly, as long as the pop is there, the height is gonna be there too. So as long as you get that good quick pop and you bring your knees up as you're doing the kickflip, the height is gonna be there, like it's just gonna work. Sometimes these like videos of me trying to like explain a trick is kind of hard to do because some of these tricks, it just it just happens naturally for some people, you know what I mean? And other people are gonna have like a harder time with it. So it's just a matter of like if that trick comes easier to you than the next person. And usually with a normal kickflip, like when you're not trying to like do it, do it high or anything, we just do a normal kickflip. Your front foot usually just flicks it and it stays kind of like in front of the board. But when you want to when you want to do it higher, like when you want to do it like up a curb or something like that, um, your front foot is gonna want to try and go like straight up. Like try to get your front foot to go straight up instead of like out in front of the board. Like yeah, you're gonna flick your front foot off the nose so your foot is gonna be going forward but like as soon as you do the flick try to bring your front foot up instead of having it just stay out in front of you and with your back foot as your back foot does the pop your back foot just jumps up naturally and that way both of your feet are above the board and like as you jump both of your feet are gonna go up with you which then makes the kickflip higher does that make sense like when I do my kickflips pretty high um, after I flick out and the board is like about right there upside down my front foot isn't like over here. It's more of like right above this front truck. Like I said, that makes it easier just to get more height on the trick. And because your front foot is gonna be flicking off the nose, like it's gonna make it easier to catch the kickflip with your back foot. Like even though both of your feet are gonna be above the board, and like I said, don't have your foot hanging too far off, like when you flick it, your, your body and like your feet and like the board and like everything is still gonna wanna naturally just try and have the trick caught with your back foot which is good like that's gonna make the trick look so much more sick another thing is like sometimes when i say like don't keep your foot like out in front of the out in front of the board um it's still gonna feel that way when you're doing it just like with like tray flip for example actually i won't do tray flip i'll just i'll say like like with varial heel for example when you do a varial heel you're gonna obviously like be like you obviously know you have to like scoop the board that way so the board could come this way but like as you're doing the trick it doesn't feel like you're actually scooping it that way at all that's another thing that's weird with like these tricks is like you say to go like this but as you go outside and try it it doesn't even feel like you're doing that so like that's why i said like it's different with everyone like it has to come like either naturally for you or like you know what i mean like hopefully this makes sense like when i do a varial heel like varial heel is like my favorite trick i'll probably make a video on that next like i know i have to scoop it but like as i'm doing the trick as i pop it it doesn't feel like a scoop at all so like doing these tricks is like a mental it's like a mental thing like i don't know you have to like really focus on the trick as you're doing it and when i say focus i mean like you have to know exactly what like your body is gonna do even if it doesn't feel like it does that make sense hopefully that makes sense but yeah honestly that's pretty much it like i said if you guys are watching this i'm pretty sure you guys already have kickflips you just want to get them higher and i feel like that's really all you need to know to get them a little bit higher flick off the nose get a good pop as you're doing it jump bring your knees up and try not to have your front foot like after you flick try not to have your front foot just like floating in front of the board for too long you're gonna want to pop flick it out obviously your foot is gonna go that way flick it out and then just try and bring your front foot back and since the kickflip is going higher it's gonna be like at an angle like this anyway so if you bring your front foot back like this your back foot is gonna be already like you know back here because it popped it so it's still gonna look sick you're still gonna be catching it with your back foot like i said doing tricks oh dude these two lizards are chasing each other anyway um fuck i forgot what i was gonna say like i said uh doing tricks like higher and trying to perfect your tricks takes more effort than actually learning it in the first place at least that's how i feel like if you learn a tray flip you're like okay now i can do a tray flip but like if you want to learn how to like do a tray flip with the super good front foot catch and everything that's going to be like a little bit more difficult because you have to you have to basically like master the trick in order to like do what you want do what you want to it you know what i mean but you know this is just a kickflip so hopefully it'll be a, be a lot easier for you and yeah um hopefully that helped guys hopefully that helped um i'm trying to think of anything else like i missed honestly what i'll say to do is don't try this on flat try and do it like up a curb that actually might help you out a lot because if you're gonna do it up a curb you're gonna be like more focused on getting onto the curb you know what i mean and that will probably make it a lot easier so yeah go out there try to get your kickflip tire um do it up a curb get a good pop get a good flick jump up like jump high like higher than your normal kickflip and yeah like i said hopefully that helped you guys um also thank you guys for 17,000 subscribers you guys are killing it 20k is on the way i'm so excited and yeah let me know if this helped you guys in the comments 
And also let me know in the comments what trick you guys want me to make a video like this on next. Like I said, it most likely will be like varial heel um, because I made a laser flip video not too long ago um, and I talked a little bit about varial heels in that video so I just kind of want to make like a like have varial heels their own video you know what I mean but yeah other than that um, I'm in the video if you guys like it leave a like subscribe if you're new 20k on the way and I'll see you guys in my next video peace <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>